In the last video we learned that we'll have to copy the outside surface of the bottom bracket, seat tube, and head tube and use those copied surfaces to trim the excess lengths of the tubes that intersect them. To do this we're going to use the offset surface command which can be found on the command manager under surfaces and offset surface or under the main menu under insert surface offset. I'll pull this, pick this off of the command manager and I'll give a demonstration on the head tube. I'll click on the outside surface of the head tube and what we see is the entire surface is being offset by the default amount of 10 millimeters outward. If I flip the arrows I see the same surface is being offset 10 millimeters inward all around. If we want to make a copy of the outside surface we simply set the offset distance to zero. And here when I click on the surface you'll see I get a striping effect which is SolidWorks way of telling us that two different surfaces are occupying the same three-dimensional space. In this case the original outside surface of the solid head tube and now the new surface that was copied from that. I will go ahead and make copies of the outer surfaces of the C tube and the bottom bracket. You'll notice that when surfaces are created, a new folder is created at the top of the feature tree. Just like when we have separate solid bodies and we have a folder created to indicate those solid bodies, we now have separate surface bodies and we can open up that folder and click on those bodies and see them highlight in the graphics area. I'm going to change the color of these surface bodies so that they are not confused with any of the solid bodies. Here we see all three bodies have been simultaneously changed to a purple color to distinguish them from the blue bike. I can now finally start mitering the ends of the tubes. I'll do this by starting at the bottom bracket and I will select the offset surface of the bottom bracket as my cutting surface. I will then go to features and select the cut with surface command. I'm going to uncheck auto select and select the particular bodies that I want to be cut. So this will include the chain stay, C tube, and down tube. I have an arrow that indicates the direction that the cut will occur. This indicates that the cut will occur going inward from the surface body. And I flip it, it will cut outward. I want to cut inward to get rid of all this material that's contained within the surface that will be doing the cutting. Here we see the excess material is trimmed away and we can see that the surface that was offset at zero from the seat tube is still continuing through into the bottom bracket. This is because the cut command only cuts solids and does not cut surfaces. I will now continue by cutting the tubes that intersect the seat tube. So select that surface, cut, select the top tube, seat stay, See that's been trimmed away and we'll finish at the head tube. Select that surface, cut, select the top tube, the down tube. We see that those have been trimmed away. We will finish in the next video.